All right. So uh, make a box and whiskers plot for the given data. All right. First of all, what is the lowest value? Someone tell me real quick. I'm listening. Eight. Someone says eight. Do you agree? Eight is the lowest value. All right. And so what is the largest value? Somebody tell me. Is everybody okay with that being 39? All right. Now somebody tell me how many numbers there are. How many? Oh. Somebody did not get 12? Uh, 11. 11? 11. 11 or 12, it's important. Oh, 11. 11. 11. All right. So there's 11 total. All right. So there's 11 total. All right. So now, because you guys are brilliant, I need you guys to pay attention because do I like putting the numbers in order or do I think that's a waste of time? It's a waste of time. All right. So I want someone to tell me what number is the median. If there's 11, now I don't care about, not the numerical number, but there's 11 numbers in our data. What number would be the middle number? Six. The sixth the number. Sixth. The sixth number. I know what you meant. The sixth number is the number in the middle. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. Right? So we're looking for the sixth number. So here we go. All right, here's how I like to do it when I'm doing this. All right, one. Nine is a what? Two. two. Then what? Eleven. Eleven is three. Fourteen is four. Seventeen is five. Thank you, guys. Twenty-three is what? And so we can circle that, and that is the what? That's the median. That's the median. All right. Now, what do you think Q1 stands for? Quartile 1. Quartile 1. What do you think Q2? Now, most of the time, I honestly, I haven't really heard it called quartile 2. All right. So I want you to underneath that put median. That's generally the way we would say it. I think that's the way it would be on the ERBs. All right. So what's the median again? 23. All right. 23 is the median. Everybody happy with that? It's very easy, like I said. Okay. Now, I want everybody to come down here. 20, 1, 2, 3. See how this, well, wait a second. I'm going to do it the way I like to do it. This is 23 right there, right? All right. So again, if you want, you can kind of write 23 underneath there just to make sure you're happy. All right, is everybody good with that? All right, and again, what was the largest? 39, all right, so we can kind of put a uh, mark right here is the largest. And then what's the smallest? Eight, so let's make a mark on eight. That's eight, <clears throat> that's 39. So all the numbers are between what? Eight and what? Three. Eight and 39. All right. So the numbers now, all right. Because 23 is the median, how many numbers are in front of 23? How many numbers are in front? Five, right? Then how many numbers are after 23? Five, because it's right in the middle. Does everybody agree with that? All right. So now we are now going to find the median of the first half of the data. And we're going to find the median of the what? Second half. Now, what do you think that does? If you take something and cut it in half, and you cut it in half again, and you cut it in half again, what does that create? Quarters. Quarters. That's why they call them quartiles. Does everybody see what I'm saying? So we're splitting the data up, all right? There's a certain amount of data in quartile one, quartile two, quartile three, quartile four. How, what fraction of the numbers are in the first quartile? One fourth. And in the second quartile, there's what? One fourth, and so on. Does everybody see that? All right, so it sounds complicated, but it's really what? It's really easy.
all right? So now we're gonna look at these numbers right here. Now, what I'm doing for you guys is one, two, three, four, five. Does everybody agree with that? So what number is in the middle there of those numbers? The what number is? Tell me. 11. 11, because it's the third number, correct? So now we have to go to 11, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mark on number, uh-oh, we're gonna make a mark on number 11. Let's go see. All right. So quartile one, it starts at what? 11, does everybody agree with that? Now we're gonna look at the last five numbers for quartile three. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight those for us so we can see them better. There's one, two, three, four, five numbers. So think about that for me. What number is in the middle there? What well, one? 32. Somebody else get 32? Somebody agree it's 32? I have a question. Because there's, there's two 32s, like how does that work? Oh, well, just, yeah. it doesn't matter. 32 is the middle number. All right. It doesn't matter if there's two of them. Okay. So now 32 goes here. And then the other mark is at 32. All right. Now it's kind of strange to me. I, I don't even really understand. Well, I mean, I know, but I don't understand why they draw it this way. All right. So here is what a box and whisker you're supposed to get from this information. All right, you're actually supposed to make a box from here all the way here and then all the way back down to here. So do that for me. All right. Hold on one second. So this is my box. And see, you'll see why it's called a box and whiskers in a minute. Why don't you use the 8 and the 38 and 9 with that? You're going to find out in a minute. Oh. All right, so you're just creating the box. All right. This thicker line in the middle represents the what again? The median. I don't know why they call it quartile 2. All right, I've always been taught that it's just the median. All right. Then. This line and this line, this over here, and I'm going to go ahead and write it even though you don't have to. This would be considered quartile one. And to me, that's supposed to be quartile two, but they're calling it quartile what? Mm -hmm. They're calling it quartile three. So I'm just going to go with quartile three. But if you were taking a test, you know, they, the, well, let's just leave it quartile three, all right? This right here is called the what? Median, which our worksheet calls what? Quartile two, all right? So there's just, you can see different people have different ways of doing it, all right? Now, this over here, and trust me, I have no idea why they call it this. Now you put, go from, you create a line from here to here, a little bit darker if you can. And then you create from here to here, and it's a little darker here. That's supposed to, I guess, be a whisker. I have no idea why. All right? Uh, well, trust me, I've tried to figure that out. I have no idea. All right? That's supposed to be the whisker. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right? Now, um, what I want to do is I'm going to show you. See, where, see how they do theirs, though? They do it above. I don't like doing it above because I can't draw very good, right? Like if, if, if this number right here is the number in the middle, I can't figure out what they mean. Do you see what I'm saying, right? So I prefer to draw it right on the what? I like to draw it right on the number line. I think mine is easier to interpret. I can see better the numbers. What? Um, so quartile two says to me, but what is quartile? The quartile one is the first 25% of the data, 
right? So if you had to, if you had to look at this right here, this is what they're trying to show you. All right, twenty-five percent of the data. Try to try to see if this makes sense. Twenty-five percent of the data are in a short amount, right? Small window. Twenty-five percent of the data are in a what? Big window. You see what I'm saying? So the data, right? You understand what I'm saying? So again, I don't. I don't even see. I mean, I don't really even care. Right? I, I've never really used this in all my math career. I've never really said, wow, that's cool. This is a great time to use box and whiskers. All right. But I have seen it on the SATs. All right. Uh, I haven't really seen it on the ACTs. And I have a feeling, I, I think I've, I think it's on the ERBs. That's another reason why I'm doing it. All right. So again, it's very simple. But if you don't know the words, you can't figure it out. This is not something because you're smart, you can figure this out. Someone has to show you this. All right. So that's why I'm saying I think it's pretty easy. All right. What? Does everyone in our grade take the same exit of ERD? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to add on here is called the interquartile range. The interquartile range. The inner, all right, I'm just going to write it out. The inner quartile range. All right, that's just Q3 minus Q1. Q3 minus Q1. All right, so what will be the inner, inner quartile range here? What would that be? Someone tell me. 20. What is it? I think it's 21, right? Is everybody okay with the inner quartile range is 21? Is the inner quartile range 21, guys? Everybody agree? Yeah, that's it. All right. Now, I'm going to try to see something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do number 3 now because that has an even number of data points. All right, so an even number of data points is a little bit different. All right, so let's look at this. All right, so the, and you guys got to help me figure out which, what's the minimum number here? 62. 62. And what's the maximum, please? 100. 100. All right, and I counted them, and I'm going to double check myself. I think there's 12, 2, 4, 6, 8. So there's 12 numbers, right? right. So is there a middle number? No. no, there isn't a middle number, correct? So we have to average what two numbers? The 6th and the 7th. We have to average the 6th and the 7th, right? So again, I just like to number them. All right, so this is where you guys come in. All right. What's the smallest number? So that's going to be number one. And then what? 57. Is two. 68 is three. Three. 73 is four. Wait a minute. 73 is four. Good. 77 is five. Good. 79 is six. All right. So I definitely need that one. 80 is seven. 84. 80. Hold on a minute. So all we need is the six and seven, right? Does everybody agree with that? Yes. So we take the average of six and seven, right? <clears throat> and we don't need to do the average of 80 and 79 is what, guys? Everybody should be able to tell me. 79.5. You're right, 79.5, right? Everybody knows that, correct? Yes. All right. So that's going to be under quartile two. I just want you to remember, I want you to put median two. All right. So what do we say it was? 79.5. All right, does everybody agree? Okay, so now we split the points in right in the middle, right? And now let's go find 79.5. Right, so here's where I like to draw 79.5. Does everybody see that? I like using the number line, so I'm going to use the number line. 
or it's just easier for me to see. And above that, you can write, I like to write, that of course is my median. Okay, now what? Of course, of course. All right, now there are six data points. Is there really a median for the first six? No. No. So now we have to average the what and the what? Third and second. Third and the fourth. So now we have to find the third and the fourth. The third was what? And the fourth was 34 and or 68 and 73. So somebody do the average for me on that. I got 70. You are correct. So quartile one would be 70.5. Quartile one would be 70.5. Because there's tw there's twelve numbers, right? Yeah. So there would be six here. Okay. Yeah. And six here, right? Right. So what do we say that was? Seventy point five, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to seventy point five and trying to draw the same line, right? Trying to draw the same line. And what's the lowest point? The minimum is what? Sixty two. 62. Now, I think I said draw a line before, but I really want you to draw a dot. Let's look at what they did. Yeah, they drew dots. Okay. So put a dot on 62. And now I need the other six points. All right. We have to find the median of the top six. So I need the. New line and the turn. Okay. Now remember, there's one. There's one through, um, I mean, there's seven through 12, right? So the ninth and 10th, does everybody agree with that? And if you're not sure about that, you can just say, well, look, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, right? This is the seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th. If you're not sure, right? You can just draw it out and say, you're just finding the two numbers, nine and 10, all right? So the ninth number, well, we have the seventh number is 80. So what's the eighth number? 84. And then 86 is the ninth, which is what we need, right? And then 94, is that correct? Yeah. So then what's the average of 86 and 94? 90. All right, so quartile three would be 90. So now I'm going to 90 and I'm going to draw another line. We did. <coughs> 90, 86, and 94 are the ninth and the tenth number. Am I right or wrong? Oh, you're right. I just wondered. That's all right. That's all right. All right, and then what was the largest number here? 100, so I put a dot at 100. Now I create my box. And then I create my whisker. Now, again, that's not something you can learn on your own. You have to have somebody tell you. All right, what did that do to the data? It just divided it into what? Fourths, right? Now, if you were looking at this, does the data seem evenly split here? Yes. Yeah, it does, right? Because the width of each quartile is about the same. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't ever use it, honestly. Or right, I don't usually ever say that about math. All right, but this is the kind of stuff that we didn't do as good on. So I'm trying to make sure I do a good job this year and make sure you guys understand. All right. So now your homework is obviously to do number two on your own. Try number two on your own. And now let's go down and answer some questions. All right. So here we go, guys. Oh, I forgot to do the interquartile range. All right, I want to do the interquartile range because that's been on the test before. 
So IQR stands for interquartile range. And that is... I don't think so. 19.5. Agreed? 19.5. Remember, it's Q3 minus Q1, the interquartile range. All right. What? So Q2 or that one is the median of all the numbers, and then Q1 is, is the median of the first half of the numbers. And then Q3 is the median of the second. That's correct. Okay. What? But sometimes. Not always. All right, so let's try to interpret a box and whiskers. Let's see if I did a good job. All right, so it says the incubation time in days of a canary, a dove, whatever that is, a pigeon, a parakeet, a raven, a chicken, a cockatoo, a peafowl, a turkey, a swan, muscovy duck, whatever, are observed and plot has been drawn. Wow. All right, so this is the incubation time of all these different birds. All right. Write the first quartile from the given plot. What is the first quartile? 15.5. I, I don't, and see, this is why I don't like it, because I have to kind of get a feel for it. And because I have an iPad, it's easy for me to draw these lines, right? And it looks to me like that's in the middle. But if, if you didn't put it in the middle, would I even care? I wouldn't care. Does everybody see what I'm saying, right? So to me, that's 15.5. But if you put 15 or you put 16, I wouldn't care. Does everybody agree with that? All right. So let's go with the first quartile is 15.5. What's the maximum incubation time? So I'm going to draw this right here. This is the maximum. I'm going to draw it straight down. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it's 35. Doesn't matter. All right, and then it says, what is the median? And like I said, I'm going to take my iPad and draw it straight down. Yeah, it looks to me like 20.5. I told you it's very easy. Yeah. It's very easy. But like I said, if you don't have someone showing you, it's a little bit more difficult. All right. Let me um. Let me see. No, no, no. I want you to practice. I want you to do it all. But I'm thinking I may have given you. Oh. Um, hold on a second. Let's do, let's answer the questions. Everybody answer the questions number two real quick. All right. Can I miss a child? Um, it said what is the median, but before it was saying q Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. That's why you have to know them for both, I think. Yeah, I think this is just a one-day assignment. Yeah. All right, so somebody tell me, what's the median? 40. 40. What's the least? 34. 34. What is the third quartile? 48.5. Yeah, if you, whatever. If you said 49 or 48 or 48.5, I don't care. Everybody okay with that? Everybody agree that's kind of easy? I just kind of got right. that. Okay. So what I'm thinking I want to do here is, uh, what time do we get out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so listen, guys, I, I feel good about this. So listen, um, let's answer the questions on this page right here, right? And then try to create your own box and whisker on the next page and answer the question. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. All right, don't, you don't have to finish this one up here. You don't have to do number two. All right, you don't have to do number two. All right. All right. So try your best to do answer the question and then make a box and whisker on your own and answer the question. 
All right, and guess what? I did post the answer, so you can kind of look to make sure you, you understand it. Because again, it's kind of sneaky, it's kind of tricky if you're not careful. But hopefully you, you agree, it's very simple, very simple. All right, very good job today, guys. And tomorrow we have circle graphs, which are much more important and much more valuable.